Notorious right wing clown boy Jacob Wall and his partner are now facing one of the largest FCC fines regarding robocalls in US history. And the robocalls that they were behind had to do with suppressing the vote for the general election in 2020. Now, the FCC is proposing to find conservative conspiracy, conspiracy theorists Jacob Wall and Jack Berkman. More than $5.1 million for allegedly coordinating more than 1,000 unlawful robocalls aimed at swaying last year's presidential election. So the apparent violations were part of what these goons were doing to suppress the vote ahead of November 3rd. They were trying to discourage people from voting by mail. The unlawful robocalls included recorded messages telling people that voting by mail would mean their personal information will be part of a public database that will be used by police departments to track down old warrants and be used by credit card companies to collect outstanding debts. Now, of course, the calls are illegal. Attempting to suppress the vote in this way is illegal. And so the FCC, apparently the board members of the FCC have voted unanimously to fine these individuals the amount that I just mentioned, $5.1 million. Now, this was a multi-state effort. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel had charged Wall and Berkman for activities tied to such voter suppression robocalls back in October, citing robocalls originating with the men affecting not only her state, but also New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Illinois. New York officials similarly sought to take action earlier this year. And I do want to note that this is not final. So both Wall and Berkman can appeal this. They have a chance to refute the proposed FCC punishment. The FCC noted Berkman and Wall had previously admitted though to the robocall campaign under oath. But what I want to understand, this is the part that like boggles my mind. Remember, they had one of the things that they tried to do, one of their little schemes was against Robert Mueller, right? Like they they apparently like paid a woman to allege that there was sexual misconduct, that sexual misconduct had taken place. It was complete and utter garbage. There was no truth behind it. I mean, them paying the woman was the allegation, but the woman had alleged that sexual misconduct, was supposed to allege that sexual misconduct happened. So they held this press conference to, I guess, repeat these claims, and they made complete and utter fools out of themselves. I don't understand how they didn't end up in prison after that scheme. But we did get a little bit of a present as a result of that. And it was the press conference itself. I wanna remind you all of what that press conference looked like. Rather than double checking and saying, wait a second, was he only at jury duty? Sometimes people go to jury duty, but they're also somewhere else. Was he only at jury duty? No, instead of, it's, oh, hang on, it's not funny. This is not a laughing matter. So you're 20 years old, Jacob, right? You're 20 years old. Describe to me your investigative experience. And when did you get this honorary Harvard Law degree? I'm it's, I'm a figure, it's a figure, it's a figure of, it's, it's a figure of speech, you're okay. Lie. Okay, so you're 20 you're years old. What is your investigative, what is your background as a professional investigator? Like I said, I, I've done a handful of Sorry, matters. Body. I've done a handful of matters like this over the years. Um, my, you know, my, uh, mission here is not to establish a narrative. It's not to follow an agenda. It's to bring forth. It's a. It's. Hang on. Hang on. It's. Excuse me. It's to bring forth the facts and let the facts speak for themselves. And that's what we've done here. The gentleman in the back. Yes, sir. Are you both prepared for federal prison? I mean, are you both prepared for federal prison? Is the right question. What I want to know is how they're how they weren't in prison before they did the robocall scam. Because it's insane how much they've it seems like they've gotten away with. Now look, to be fair, I'm sure that they've been investigated, their process of being investigated. But imagine imagine the feds investigating you for your alleged crime. 
But you're still like running around town committing more crimes. Like that's what white privilege is, everyone. That's what white privilege is. Like when you're asking like, oh, what's white privilege? I don't know what that is. It's when Jacob Wall, a 20 year old criminal is running around committing more crimes as he's being investigated by the feds for the original crime. So Mickey C, the silver haired dragon writes in and says, how has Jacob Wall not been in prison repeatedly given the number of grifts, false accusations, slander, hiring women to claim Fauci, Mueller and others were sexual predators on and on. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know, I don't know what the answer to that is. But I do know the FCC is planning on finding him $5.1 million for trying to suppress the vote, for giving voters false information to scare them away from voting. That's the kind of person Jacob Wall is. Imagine being a guy in your early 20s who engages in that type of garbage. Yeah, he deserves to be in prison. Berkman deserves to be in prison as well. And the fact that they've been emboldened to the point where they can just continue playing these games. I mean, you play stupid games, you're supposed to win stupid prizes. So their prize should be prison. And I'm not even one of these like tough on crime people. But obviously, they think that they're above the law. And so the FCC fine is great, but they do deserve time behind bars for what they've been doing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.